Mind your business. That's what you do. You see what I'm saying? Let me see. Go to YouTube. I think a lot, but to, um, next, uh, next to this, uh, six, six, I think a lot of, a lot of these, these, um, spirits and souls that are coming back are, um, recycled souls. Some of them may be new, but these, cause these kids are just different. They're, they're coming back with, with great intelligence. They're coming back with, um, some kind of, um, a lot of them being, a, a lot of, a lot of seers are being born now. A lot of seers are being born now, and a lot of these kids got special gifts and powers that that, that they don't want them to uh, be able to access or tap into. The best way to um, change human DNA is through a virus, because the virus is gonna cause the DNA to mutate. So, what's his first name? It's a very. You know what I mean? Joanne, what's his first name? Uh, Maria, you said your parents broke up your relationship with your child. Let me tell y'all something, mothers. Oh, wow. Mind your goddamn businesses. Mind your businesses, fathers and mothers. Y'all need to mind your business. Stay out of your grown-ass kids' stuff. Why do mothers and... I hate that. Mind your businesses. You had to go through your life experiences. You had to go through whatever you had to go through when you was growing up, when you had your children, and you was going through things. I mean, I feel like you got to let these kids go through their life experience. You, you, people, parents, y'all be doing too much. Mind your goddamn business. If they're over 20, 20 years old, mind your business. It's okay to give advice. Mm -hmm. It's okay to advise, but they have to go through their own journeys on this planet. You had to go through your own life experiences. I think the only time you really should get involved in stuff in your kids' business if they're being beat or something like that, if they're being abused by the significant other. Other than that, let them go through. You could give them, like my wife said, you could give them advice, but they gotta learn on their own. He looks very young. He looks very young, but you know what? I feel like he's a little bit immature. I feel like he's still. When did his mother die? I don't know if he's gotten over that yet. But Spirit has shown me that he's still, like, kind of, you know, harboring emotions and feelings about his mother transitioning, okay? But but I'm going to tell you this, uh, um, Joanne, he will come around when it's time to you to have that, for, to, for you to have that baby. She told his, his brother she will make sure we don't get married because he used to give me money to keep with a month, keep within a month. We start being in a relationship. Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. She's an ancestor now. And you know what? Ancestors are totally perfect beings. They're not the same beings as they are physical. Mm -hmm. So you can talk to his mother. You can talk to her spiritually now. And you can tell his mother that she needs to fix that. She needs to fix that. She was out of order for that. And, you know, we do get a lot of, um, a lot of people come to us because um, people... Parents were uh, their parents were doing rituals on their, their relationship, trying to break them up and stuff like that. We get yeah, that a we lot. got a lot. Get a lot. Believe of that. it or not, we get a lot of that. I'm gonna tell you this, um, Joanne. I see, cause he did love you, but his mother did have an influence on him. I see that eventually you will get married with him. I I see that when the baby's born, he's gonna consider it. But let me ask you a question. Is he seeing somebody else right now? Why am I picking up another girl? Maria said, <laughs> it must be a guy in this thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm going to tell you all like this. It happens <laughs> right here in America, too. Let me tell you something. Ain't no different than a, uh, ain't no different than an African mother, a Guyanese mother, or American and American's mother. They, Trust me when I tell you. They will do some spiritual work on that relationship. It sure will. I don't care where you come from. And I'm going to tell you, we deal with people from all neck of the woods, whether you're Trinidad, Guyana, even back home in Africa. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. South America, Brazil. I mean, I'm telling y'all, the mothers are not much different. They want to be nosy in their, in their son's relationship. Mind your business. Don't let them go through the experience unless you want to give advice or you see that your son is, you know, 
or your, or your not just your son, or your, or, or your daughter is being abused or, you know, things like that are different. That's when you get involved. You know what I mean? I don't get involved with my daughters, nothing. They're grown, they're over 30 now. Let me tell you this. I don't get involved in their stuff unless I have to. Mm -hmm. And recently I had to say something to one of the, uh, the kids' father's mother because I'm trying to bring the peace, but she wanted to bring the drama. I had to tell her to mind your business, stay out of it because they got goddamn over 30 years old. Mind your business. That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because at the <laughs> end of the day, <laughs> you, you know, it's just, I don't get in it. It's not my business. They got kids and shit. It ain't none of your business. Get out of their business. Stay over there in your corner. Worry about what you got going on. Like I said, unless they're putting their hands on them, vice versa, mentally abusing them, I ain't got nothing to say. That's your business because mm -hmm. you got to go through your life experience. Everyone has a life experience. I was married at a young age. I went through life experiences. And my grandmother would tell me that you're going to go through this. You're going to have men in your life. Da, 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 da. And she was right. Okay, what is um next 666 say? Um, is he in a serious relationship or just having fun? He's just having fun. He's just having fun. Hey, hey Nichelle. How are you? Um, but Joel, he's just having fun. Do, are you able to communicate with him? Because he's going to be there when you have that baby. Don't, don't say I didn't tell you so. You're not going to go through it by yourself. Uh, next to this 6-6 six, six says, I remember a young sis say, uh, said that she believes that the jab is going to backfire on the agenda by activating the melanin to uh, supernatural. I chose to imagine there's something to that point of view. I th I, th I think um, they're try I think <laughs> they're trying to shut that cut that off. What? I think they're trying to cut that off because a lot of these kids are coming back. That's why they that's why they're so um, that's why they're so uh, infatuated and 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 so much uh, with doing it to the children. And doing it behind the parents' backs and trying to pass laws so they could uh, inoculate them in school while the parents don't know. All right, Tiff, what's your question, Tiff? Put it in box for me. What you want to know about love? You want to know when love is coming? What you want to know about love? Um, yes, he called me several times every day. Okay, so John, I'm telling you, John, he's going to be there when I trust me when I tell you. Are you having a boy? I keep seeing a boy. I could be wrong. I don't profess to be always 100% right, but I see a boy. It's called life. Do you even appreciate it?